I might be wrong on this, but I believe the channel V West Life made a video on the response of blacklight to CRT phosphor. So we got our uh, LED blacklight here. Oh, that looks pretty. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, that fusing looks really pretty. Alright, looks like the phosphors and the plasma are a no-go. Now, I know this is hit or miss. Let's check out the Tritatron right next to my desk. That's moderate response. Oh, you can really see the uh, weathering on the darkening coating on this one. Mild response. Now, that one's got response, actual delayed response. Okay, this is a red CRT from a rear projection, and this is a green. Looks a little bit different. That looks more purple. Probably some of the red getting through. And here's a blue. Let's put it. Let's put the blue next to the red. These are from a rear projection TV. I actually uh, want to build my own CRT driver circuit at some point. So this is red next to blue, and you can see they're clearly different. All right, red, green, and blue. Red, it looks pretty close to green. Green looks more washed out. Red has more red. And blue, whew, it likes the ultraviolet. I got a monitor back there. It seems to be responding somewhat. Oh, this, this black and white tube lights up like a Christmas tree. Oh, that's bright. What if I hit it from the back of the tube? Yeah, wait, is there, is there any clearing in the Aquadag? No. Hmm. That's a decent response, not as good. There's my amber phosphor monitor, which glows a weird purple color. Oh, which IBM 5155 should... Damn, I got four of these things. Hey, if anybody's watching this video has any connection to LGR, I've been trying to offer to pretty much give him one if he pays for the damn shipping and gives me just a fucking mention. Uh, but, the only way to get a hold of him is paying money, and I'm not doing that, so... If anybody has a connection to them, uh, next weekend I'm going to try to rest start restoring one of these and the one I was offering going to give away, I'm selling it because I'm sick of holding on. Ooh, you got a nice response. Not as good as the black and white tube. Got the USA Samsung, decent response. Now, uh, let's check out our little 13 inch. Ooh, you look good. Oh, that looks weird. Kind of brown. Probably from the darkening layer on it. Very strong response out of that tube. All right, let's, uh, now I know my scope responds strong. Look at that. Look at the fadeaway time. That's cool. That's really cool. What about you, iTube? You care? You don't care. All right, what else do I got for CRTs? Because we're... I got my USB powered camera viewfinder around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'm not sure if that's responding or not. That looks kind of... That looks like normal reflection. I don't think the phosphors are, are burning it all through this. Oh yeah, that's got dots. I never noticed that. Yeah, it's got dots instead of lines. That looks good. Huh, this one, uh, I guess there's not a darkening layer. Eh. Somewhat responsive. It's kind of hit or miss. Some of these CRTs have really strong effects. Some have next to none. Oh, wait, I didn't check the CRT under the uh, game console area. Oh, you respond strong. Look at that. Oh, look how strong that is. Trinitron tubes don't seem the best in responding. What the hell? How'd a cat litter get over here? Damn cats. <clears throat> How'd they drag it this far? Oh, that's responding. Yeah, see, look how much brighter that is in the Trinitron tube. Something about Trinitrons, they don't really do it. Alright, now it's, this iMac looks really crazy. Oh, the camera doesn't see it the way I do. It looks more greenish in real life. Which I have the camera's color set to 65k. Look at this uh, motherboard. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure this isn't green. This is a 5155 motherboard. I am pretty damn certain that thing is brown, but... Yes, that is brown. Look at that. <laughs> ah, look at that. Oh, I probably should... Okay, yeah, that, that's... I was going to say, I should be careful over a ROM... Uh, a ROM chip, if, it, if I have a ROM on here and it's got a window on it, the UV light will actually reset the ROM chip and make it blank. Because that's how in a factory, like, uh, like if you if you pull that sticker off a BIOS chip, there should actually be a little window in it. And if you want to uh, erase the BIOS, you just shine a UV light at it for a minute or two and... Huh. Uh, PCBs seem to glow. Oh, that iMac screen. Oh, there's a monitor back there. It's an Amber Foster. Uh, another Sony tube. We gotta get to that Amber Foster monitor. Ugh. How do you like uh, watching me dick around trying to get the places here? This is my life. I right, gotta touch the furnace without getting burnt. Alright. Ooh. Oh, the power light really lights up. And that weird purplish glow we got from the other one. So, Amber glows purple, I guess. I wish I, wish I had a proper green Foster CRT. Like one would be used as a monitor, like a 5151. I actually had the opportunity to get a 5151, and I probably still have the opportunity. Just I feel bad taking it off because, uh, same guy's giving me a lot of this IBM stuff, like this computer here. He's offered to give me one, but I'm like, oh, I can't take it unless I have the actual MDA or Hercules card for it because I'd feel bad taking something off his hands and not using it. Oh, I want to look at some PCBs. I know this video should end, but... Whoa, holy fucking faggot spinner, Batman. Yes, now I turbocharged it. By the way, if you ever have something that glows in the dark, a UV light, there's a lot of energy in UV light, and you can use that to turbocharge glow-in-the-dark stuff. Look how bright that is now. So, an easy way to try that, if you say you got a watch with some glowing hands on it, UV light it for like a second. The UV light is very, uh, you know, it's a short wavelength, very high energy, so it's why it reacts with the phosphors and the CRTs. It's the, it's the high energy striking it. It excites it, gets it to glow, gets it to emit. What the hell? That transformer looks weird. Oh. <laughs> So that's why people put black lights in their computer. That doesn't respond well, but the card edges do. Man. Uh oh. Dell from hell. Oh, I forgot about you, speaker. Oh my god, I have so much crap. Hey. I need to get. Oh. Look at the orange drops. Whoa, my impact gloves. Whoa, that looks really cool. Well, if I have a black light party, I guess I'll have to wear impact gloves. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, since this camera is still rolling... Oh, hey, let's check out this motherboard. Boring. Ooh, card edges are pretty, but boring. Huh. So I guess uh, whatever IBM used in their boards made it uniquely look like that. Man, this flashlight must be burning through the battery. It's getting warm. That's why I got a bad connection. And maybe that's making it hot. Oh, that, that, that desk looks like an ugly color. Oh, it looks filthy and moldy. So moldy, in fact, I don't remember why I'm over. What the fuck? What the fuck happened to that RAM? It's attic bag. Yeah, who knows around here. Why did I come over here? Oh, why did I come over here? Whoa. Uh, I wanted to look at something. I, uh... I'll start the video when I remember what I was trying to look at. Can't forget about that CRT. It's got a nice fadeaway time. It must be a little bit different of a phosphor then, if it fades like that. <laughs> kind of hard to get to, but I forgot about the Tektronix scope. Man, the phosphors they use in scope CRTs, they respond so well. Probably because of that long delay time they have, so when you have the trace going at a low speed, you still get a line out of it. That's what I came to see. Does a black light respond to a black light? And no, it does not.